are the Scottish falsetto sock? Puppet theatre and so am I and so is he. Now we must prepare for our play. Okie dokie. Me, 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 me. No, 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 don't do that. Maybe, hang on, I'll do my stretches. Wee! No, no. Does that help? Not a great deal, no. Do what I do to prepare. What do you do to prepare? Use the Stanislavski. The, Stan the Stanislavski. I don't, I don't need to. We live in a flat. No, the Stanislavski. I use the Stanislavski. If I've just used the Stanislavski myself. Okay, everybody, you'll need to leave a couple of minutes. That's not the Stanislavski. You're being that thing again. What thing? Facetious. Bless you. The... Are you not familiar with Stanislavski? I don't know any of the Slavskis. Did they run the Polish shop? I've never been in. Konstantin Stanislavski. I've told you I've never been in. That... That's his name. Konstantin... Constant... Konstantin, very difficult to say, he is very difficult to say. Konstantin Stanislavski was a pioneer of theatre. He invented the method. What? The method? The method? The method as used by, yes, as used by the Methodists. No. Yes, well, I mean, I don't know, Methodists don't you, but some might use it. Only if they're, I don't know. Listen, who uses the method? Catholics. That d different method. Konstantin Stanislavski's The Method comes from his book An Actor Prepares like we're doing. I'll do my stretches. Me, 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 stop doing that. You don't need to do that. No. The purpose of The Method is so you can act and not get pregnant. Now, that's not really a consideration. Listen, what are you going to do? I'll, I'll take you through it. You've got to draw on your emotional memory. I'll, I'll just go and get a pen. You don't need a pen. Come back here. What part? What part? Are you supposed to be playing um, Hamlet? Right. So Hamlet is going to meet the ghost of his father. Can you draw on an emotional memory? I can. I can. I remember this one time. We're on the ramparts of this castle and it's dark and it's misty and there's some guards there but they kind of go away so there's no one else on the battlements and then suddenly, suddenly there's this ghost with a big booming echoey voice. That sounds like the perfect emotional memory. When was this? Um, I don't remember when it was. It was when there was this play on the telly with a mental bloke and the girl who goes mad and jumps in a pond and then her dad gets stabbed through the curtains and that was Hamlet. Yeah, that was the one. When was it on? That was on last week. That was when we decided to do Hamlet. Well, that's where my emotional memory comes from. Yeah, I'm, we're looking for a more personal memory. One that was experienced by you, rather than one that was shared by everyone who watched Hamlet when it was on the telly last week. I've got it. I have got the emotional memory. I'm feeling lonely. Lonely, totally like I'm on my own, like I'm alone, the only person in the world. That's marvellous. How does it make you feel? I feel isolated, like there's no one else around. More lonely than anyone has ever felt, ever. And what are you doing? I'm watching Hamlet on the telly. It was last week you'd left the room. I don't have to pretend to be enjoying it anymore. I see. You're basing it on when I'd left the room. Yeah, you'd probably gone off to use the Stanislavski. Do you have... Do you have no memories of your own? I have plenty of memories of my own. Go on then. What is your earliest memory? I can see my father. Your father. My father. And the smoke. Oh, the terrible smoke. The terrible smell of the smoke. The thick, choking, overpowering black, all-consuming smoke. I can't see anything for the smoke. This is this is terrible. Are you in a fire? No, we're in the lounge. You're smoking a cigar. How is that supposed to help? It is a Hamlet. Mm.